everybody, Charles Jr. here for yet another rock hunting adventure. We are at the Obsidian Pile here at the world headquarters of Jaws Jr. Entertainment amongst some barking dogs and other noise. But I'm going to make more noise. What we have here are some pieces I've selected to get cleaned up. And one of these we are going to cut and show you how cool they are inside. Again, this is Davis Creek Rainbow Obsidian. Got the pressure washer here out, and we're going to go through a quick cleanup on these chunks here inside this crate. some color there got some purple there if we can stay focused this one's got some really good color sorry for the barking dog they know when I pull out a camera to talk to you guys and they have to bark Not much color in that one, but that one's got an interesting pattern in it right there. This color there, that might be purple. Here's the winner, this one right here. Okay, so we're gonna take this one here, set it out. I'll do a little bit better cleaning on it here. Uh, but once I let it sit out here in the sunshine, which is rare for us, and let it dry, once it's dry, we'll put it in the saw. And I'll bring you guys along for that. Okay, it's all dried off. Sorry for the noise again. Now it's a lawnmower. But as you can see, you can't hardly see any color compared to what we saw before. 
But let's get it on the saw and get out of this noise. Okay, this has got to be the no most noisy neighborhood there is right now. But that's okay, we're going to work our way through it. I am wanting this to be like this. Now this is going to be hard to get this to be situated the way I want it. Through the use of wedges, wheel power, three hands with only two, there might be a slight chance that I can get this to actually work the way I want it to. Now, I'm trying to cut somewhat with the line. See, this is not happy. Yep, yeah, it's not going to stay. There it is. Okay. So crank it down even more. Okay. So that's about as close as I can get it from my estimation, the way this thing fell into place. And we're going to go ahead and move this thing over. Okay, now what I've got to do is set my chain. Yeah, that's noisy, but that's okay. That's about right where I want it. So you can see here, of course, there's something in the way. You can see here, this, is, this blade will just come just past it. And the auto shutoff chain is going to be right there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to start the cut right about here. Yeah, this is thicker than I like, but I don't like cutting on a piece that's that much of a slope. It can do funny things with that saw blade. So what I'm going to do there is leave it there. Take this light out. Set this. I'll move you guys away and you can see the top view as I go through to process to close the lid kind of see where I'm doing that and let's go ahead and get this thing started we will come back periodically to look at the slabs. I'm going to leave all the slabs in the saw on the tray there. Okay, that first end cut is done. Let's see about getting this stuff here set up so we can see what's going on here. Like I said, that's a pretty hefty cut there. But look at the colors there. Yep, that's a pretty good one. So what I'm going to do now... Let's slide this over. Yeah, you see, you can't see the colors on that side because we're at the wrong angle. That's fine. We will check them out later. So I'm going to move this over so I have approximately a six and a half to seven millimeter uh, cut. And see, you can see where I'm starting to bleed at. Let's come around over here. See how it's starting up on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two or th probably three of these, get three slabs off of this, and then I'll bring you back after the end of the third slab. While we're waiting for those three cuts to get done, 
let's come back out here and let's go back to these back buckets here these are the number twos basically i could not find much color or any color in them and curiosity has got me is there really any color in these so don't know which one i want to take let's take this one and we'll take this one inside and see if we can get any color out of it so we'll cut this after we're done with that other one and yes plenty more to go okay all three cuts are done so again to recap this is the first one this is the end cut looks pretty sweet the stuff on there is just stuff from the saw cut the chips and stuff from the saw so there's that one here's cut number two Pretty good. Let's flip it 180. The other side. Yep. Looks pretty good. You got some cool color in there, some cool patterns. Yep. Here's the next one. Look at the purples are starting to show up in this one. Purples and pinks. Let's flip it 180. Pretty cool looking stuff. And then here is this last one. Now this is up here, the top is where the pattern on the piece is starting to change a little bit, get a little bit more tighter because it was more of a wave through there. And look at that. That is cool. So we got that. And this here's going to be next one up. But we still have, oh, probably three more cuts on that. So let me get on those. And when this piece is done, we will stop. And we'll do a few of these and show you what it's like. And from the pile that just did not show much color. Okay, we are done with this one chunk. So that's what's left of it. This will get glued on to a uh, block of wood and be finished at a later day. But that came out pretty good. Unlike all the variations in this stuff. So, next will be, look at that blue stripe on that one. I like that. Followed by that purple. So, next will be this one. I'm going to get that thing mounted up and start cutting it.
Here is the one that we randomly selected out of the reject buckets. So the way I'm cutting this one is I'm going fairly in the same direction this way as a saw blade. But if you look here, I kicked the, this, the left side of the stone up at an angle to have the saw go across those specific lines to see if we can get anything out of it. Again, I don't know what's going to happen here. So we're going to get the saw fired up. I'm going to cut three or four slabs off of it, and I will bring you back to show you what it looks like. Okay, it's time to show you progress so far and how things are going. Now I've done the end cut in three slabs. So we will take a look to see how these are looking. Get the light set up here like we have had it before. So there is some color on that side. So, not much color in that, just that green strip, which I can work with. There's more of the green. This here is closer to the end. There's more color there. So, under this light, there's some light color. And then that's the end cut. And there you go. You can actually see some pinks in that one as well. So, is it worth to cut the stuff? Yeah, I can do something with it. There's got to be careful with what I do. We are done cutting. Cannot get any more off of that. So we're going to work kind of backwards. This is the most recent cut off of it. And it's mostly grays. Get the light just right on it. And you can see a little bit of green in there. So I'll try to focus in on that up there. And these all have a crack in it. You can tell by the sound of them. And then this one here. It's got a little bit of green there. Let's turn it over. Really not much of the way of color is there. This one's got the green right in the middle, but there's also a crack in it. You can see where the crack is at. Let's set it down. You really see you got to have it up to the light. But there's the crack. And you see that, that rainbow color? That's also part of the crack. There you go. That is part of the crack as well. So we got to turn it back over this way. There you go, there's more of the green, but you can see the crack in it. I might be able to work with it some. Here's the other side, and there's more of that crack down there, right through the green, of course. I will do the concrete test on that here soon. After I get them cleaned up, I'll just drop it on a concrete floor from about 12 inches. And it will fracture. Anywhere where those cracks are at, then I can work around them. But yeah. 
So for being part of the reject bin, or the number twos, I think I made the good call on that one. See this one here smaller, so I have a feeling I have a piece of uh, sitting now at the bottom of my saw. But you can see the angles that I cut that at. If we can stay in focus. There you go. So, and then here's the face. The end cut. And the way that some of the colors were starting to pop in this one here. You see how thin that piece there is. You see my finger through it. You would start to have some hope. But see, there's that crack right there, too. You can see where the oil is actually held up against the crack. So, I will still work with this piece, but putting it in my reject pile, hey, that was a good thing to do. So, this is why I take the time to go through there to see if I find visible colors on the exterior. And if I do... They are in the good stuff. If I do not, I put them off into the obsidian number twos pile or the rejects. I'll st I still can sell them, but at a much lower rate, probably like two fifty a pound. And the other stuff, let's go ahead and pull this guy here out one more time. Sorry about the things that's on it. There we go. But I'm selling this stuff here rough for $5 a pound plus USPS flat rate shipping. If not every piece is going to come out like this, some may have some gray with color in it. Some may just be clear or, or translucent with some color in it. This piece here is exceptional. Let me see if I can find one here that's more of an average one. As you guys can tell, I've been busy. Oh, this is Silver Sheen. So I've got Silver Sheen in there too. There you go, Silver Sheen with a little bit of color. Not much. So, it is a crapshoot on this. That's why I'm considering all this stuff pretty much like an average quality. This is a very good quality, this piece here. So, I'm going to let you guys go. Just remember, everyone's life's an adventure. Then there's mine. Cutting obsidian on my grandfather's old Highland Park Model J2 18-inch slab saw. This is the Adventures of Charles Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!